Hey, what's up guys? It's Josh here. I'm here with Coach Matt and we're going to go over this week's simple and sinister workout. So for this workout, we're going to have four stations, two exercises per station. You're going to go 25 seconds of hard work, 15 seconds to switch. You're going to do four sets of each exercise and we'll rotate around the room just one time. You ready, Matt? Ready. Okay. So we're going to start on our boxes and the ropes here with our step up slam. So coming up over on that box, using that momentum coming up to get the ropes up and then sitting back and slamming that rope down. If you want to, and you need to take the impact out, you're just going to step side to side and slam it. If the step ups are you shoot for any reason, just go to the traditional row slams. You go stamps, beat the heck out of that pull. The second exercise, we're going to go down to the floor here, and we're going to work on our push ups. Now, you can work any push up variation you want. We're going to show you our traditional push up here. So, glutes are squeezed, squeeze those shoulder blades, deep breath in on the way down, push up, push that air out. Think about bending that bar and have to keep those lats engaged and working for you here. You can also go down from your toes, lower those knees and press up from your knees. Again, down from your toes, up from your knees. You can work from your knees here as well if you'd like. And we're gonna go back and forth on those for four sets of each. Nice job, Matt. From there, we're coming over to station number two. We got Coach T over here. She's gonna start with our sled push. So grab those push pulls and then take those big steps driving your foot into the floor, you're trying to tear up that carpet. When you get down to the other end, you're just gonna turn around, push that sled back, so you're gonna to try to get as many laps in as you can in that 25 seconds. After that, the second exercise, we're coming over to our skiers. And the skiers, all about power, not speed here. So remember to get tall, reach for that top shelf up to those tippy toes, sit that butt back, using all that momentum to pull those handles down. So it's a deep breath in, Push that air out as you pull down. Try to track those meters and see how far you can get when all four sets. Nice job, Tia. From there, we're over to station number three with Coach Seth, and he's gonna start with our sprinter start. So for our sprinter start, you get those suspension trainers inside those armpits, between your arms and your chest. Now he's leaning forward here. He's gonna take a big step back. This is his starting position. So in this one, he's gonna be working that left leg. He's gonna drive up, taking a deep breath in as he steps back, and then drive up on that front leg, squeezing that left glute nice and tight, pulling that right knee up toward his chest. If you wanna challenge yourself a little bit more, you can add that hop in. Remember, it's two hops. You hop forward, hop back, then step back. So hop forward, hop back, step back here. When you come back to this one, you're gonna do the other leg, so you're gonna get two sets in on each leg for this one. The second exercise in the station is our reverse flies. So we're turning around, leaning straight back here. We're gonna get a soft bend in those elbows. And now Seth's gonna open up that chest, squeezing those shoulder blades, open up that chest, let's get ready for a big bear hug, and then nice and controlled on the way down. So he's gonna really work those rear delts and that upper back musculature here. If you wanna make this heavier, you step further in if you need to make it lighter. You put one foot back or both feet back to make sure you're getting that full range of motion on this one. Nice job, Seth. And then from there, we're over to our last station. Coach Matt's back. We're gonna start with our tall kneeling seesaw presses here. So glutes squeeze tight, fall up those abs. Now it's one arm pressing, the other arm's pulling. So they're both working at the same time here. Glutes are squeezed nice and tight. Abs are walled up. Matt's choosing a lighter weight here so he can move faster. If you want to challenge yourself, you can go with the heavier weight. It's going to get more intentional there. You want to make sure that you really are able to complete those quality reps for that 25 seconds. The second exercise here on our stability ball is to stir the pot. So get those forearms and elbows on the ball. Plank position here goes wide as you need to with your feet to keep your hips nice and stable. And then you're going to make those circles. Now notice how it's all coming from the shoulders for Matt. He's not moving through his legs at all. He's going to start with some small circles, and if he feels like he can go a little further, he'll explore that range of motion. If you need to, you can do this one from your knees. You can also just hold that plank position or go down to the floor and hold that plank position if you need to, whatever you can do to do this one well. Okay, that is our simple and sinister workout for this week. Great job, guys.